and welcome to this video. <laughs> my name is Pelly. I work for Microsoft Make Code. And with uh, my... Emil. Emil. Uh, we're going to be building games today on Make Code Arcade. Make Code Arcade is a retro arcade uh, coding website. And you can find it at arcade.makecode.com. And you can do all we're doing here on your computer. How about we move the keyboard? If you're watching YouTube, you can right-click two times the video and select picture in picture. All right. So we've been going through the coding concepts. I'm going to scroll down to the coding concepts section, game design concepts. Yes. And last time we did star. I failed. Throwbone. Let's go. Oh. And we're learning about controller buttons. Okay, this one's shorter. Setting up okay. a sprite can be complicated with a number of blocks. Projectiles are special sprites that are made to move across the screen. Okay. All right, you might know a lot about this one. Yeah. All right, let's go and do a sprite. So we're going to create that yeah. sprite here. How about you zoom in once? Yeah. Uh, let's pick the... The ghost. The ghost. Okay. Yeah. The ghost. This guy. Oh no, we could do animation. Yeah. Hold on, let me check. There's a message. Let me see. There's a message. No. All right. All right. Let's go. Okay, we did that. If you have questions, uh, we're also looking at the mixer chat. Um, all right. So okay. we create a sprite as usual. Let's see, find the, the projectile in my sprite. This will create a sprite that starts from the same location as my sprite. And we've used that in, in other games a lot. How about we collapse the... So what's important here to see is that from is going to be the sprite you're going to launch your projectile from. And those speeds tell you really the direction of the projectile. Let's uh, let's draw that guy. I can draw like a bone. A bone. Very stylish. I guess. I'm getting good at this, Mill. <laughs> Ooh, that looks. Let's good. look a wrench. Oh yeah, it's more <laughs> of a wrench. Okay. Oh, a wrench or a bone. Okay, and now if we look at the simulator. Yeah, it just threw one bone, but the bone is gone. I think we'll probably learn how to do something. Yeah, you're basically resetting, yeah. resetting the whole thing right now. Yeah. Okay, we did that. We did that. Open the image editor and draw an image of a bone. Okay, we did that. We mastered it. Okay, I think bone, our bone looks better. I think our bone looks better, right? It's just yeah. a bit skinny. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's a pinky bone. Yeah, it's a pinky bone. Okay, negative 15. Negative 15. Mm, okay. Uh, well, let's go back to the simulator. Let's see what right. this changes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's hard to see because we only shoot one. Let's, let's, uh, let, let's see what the next step is going to do. I think we're probably going to start using buttons. Okay, I'm gonna rest. Wait, 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 go back, that was fast. So you find an on the button A pressed, and that is an event that triggers whenever we press button A, yeah. that makes sense. And mm -hmm. we're gonna move the block in there, which makes more sense than doing it only one time and don't start. Do that, and put it there, there we go. All right, let's test that. Yeah. There we go. So one thing about projectiles. It should be how many bones you have in your body. And once you reach that amount of bones thrown, you can't throw anymore. Yeah, we, we're going to do that and once we're done with the tutorial. That's a great idea. OK, you can move my sprite. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's kind of the, oh. Oh, yeah, he's saying you can't. He's saying you can. Let's, not, let's share later. Yeah. Uh, OK, let's see. 
Uh, we want it to move the sprite with the buttons. And now as you're moving, it's doing. And then you want it to have a limited amount of bones in the screen. Yeah. OK. So to do that, we're going to need a variable. OK, called bones. Well, let me see. Oh yeah, no, no, actually, okay. So let's do a variable, that's gonna be good. Bones? Yeah, and that variable, we're gonna use it to keep track of how many bones we've shot. You can do like bone count. Yeah, that's cool, that's even better. And we're gonna start, so when we start the game, it's, so in on start, we're gonna initialize this variable, and it's gonna be zero. Well, actually, no, we have. Um, let's, can I just Google it? I don't really know. Well, let's ballpark it to 10. I mean, ghosts don't have bones, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> 10? Yeah. So we start with 10. I think it's more like 300. I don't know. And whenever we throw a bone, we basically have to change that variable by one. Whenever we throw a bone, OK. So we're going to change that variable. We need an on button and press. And we're gonna change that variable by, we're gonna remove one, minus one. Yes, but then we need to check before we throw. We need to check that we still have a bone to throw. So we can do, how do we do conditional code? Yep. And we're gonna do an if, take those two in. It really does the one. Oh well, we can just drag them. And okay, so we need to have some bone to throw the bone. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna test that our bone count is what? Okay, if so, first one we need. And um, bone count. Oh, now bone count is. Uh, I think we wanted. Yeah, we're working on this. I think you have to put it on the rim. On the rim? Your hand on the rim. Uh, grab it from the left. No. <laughs> we're working on that, people. There's going to be an update in make code. We'll, we'll have, oh, there we go. Who's Good job, Emil. You're such a legend. I know, right? Uh, yeah, that's exactly right. As long as we have a bone, we can throw it. Now it's going to be this. The problem is we don't replenish it. And we're going to use an event we've never used before. It's an event that triggers when a sprite is destroyed. So what happens with, with we projectiles. We could just do on game update every like five seconds to get a new bone. No, actually there's something way more precise. When a, when a bone leaves the screen, mm -hmm. a projectile leaves the screen, it is destroyed by the game engine. The game didn't say, oh, you know, it's out of the screen. Don't need it anymore. Yeah. And if you look in game, mm -hmm. wait, no, it's a sprite event. Yeah. If you look in sprite, mm -hmm. there is a on destroyed sprite. Mm -hmm. And that is very helpful. So if, if we track all the projectiles, so this will run code whenever a projectile is destroyed. Ooh, so what should just, we do? We can just make a function where it makes new bones. Then it well, here it's like you oh. you can recover your yeah change bone. You basically, add one again. Oh yeah. And now. Then you have infinite bones. Well, you know, let's let's do four. You'll see it's gonna be more obvious. Ten is too much. See, it doesn't want to. Uh -huh. Yeah, a lot of games don't let you shoot too much. You have to wait till your bullet is gone. Now that's cool. First, I'm going to modify my bone. <coughs> and put some... Some blood on it? No, some... Like, it's, it's speeding. It's speeding. How about we animate the bone? I wanted to animate the, the dude. So Alright, like, so let's do animation in this game. <coughs> oh, that's a rocket bone. Always need a rocket. Yeah. Oh, it's like musical kind of. I'm trying to make fire. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of orange will help. Yeah, a bit of orange. 
Kind of a mix of orange and red. There, there we go. go. It's, it's on fire. All right. Uh, you know what? Um, let's animate it. How do we anim do animations? Uh, go in extensions and create the animation dialog. And so, this was really fast, but we took the animation dialog. Yeah. It's uh, gone now it's because gone. you already have it. It's the duckies. Yeah. The four duckies, and they're up here. Yeah. And there's a new section in toolbox. It's darker green next to loops. Yep. But because I w we in the end, because look, you have also that. Oh and yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. so so we need to animate it when we shoot. Yeah. Okay. Let's click on done. So we're gonna add an animation on our. Yeah. Let's grab the animation. And we have. This one. Yeah, this one. I'm going to put it on in our. On rest. Yeah. Yeah. This right there. In the true? Or? Yeah, in the true. Because you only do that when you shoot. Okay. And now let's do the animation editor. First one. Actually, no, we already have one. Uh, well, click on that. You need to do the shoot thing, and then mm -hmm. you need to come back to the original image. Well, I don't want you to do. So it's like this, and then it goes like this, and it goes like that. So this one. No, no, no. The starting one is the one where it's like this. Oh, yeah. We can. I think we can drag them. This, this one. No. So he's starting like like this. Yeah, he's already in there. No, no. It's 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 like this. That's the one. So we want the first one to be like this, with his hands out front like that. But he has it because that's his current state. It starts from there. He's already looking like that no because look he, sta he start like he's starting from here no. he's, he's already so when he's gonna start oh he's already yeah, there he's already i there. see so that oh, one right. we need should it, listen to you we need it to be like this <laughs> uh that would be that one so whenever it's not throwing it's like this all right and i'm gonna do something really cool i can drag the image up because whenever he's not throwing, he's like this. But then when he's throwing, he goes. So the animation, I'm going to launch the animation preview here. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's pretty slick. And then the last one, he needs to come back to. Yeah. You know what? How about we animate it too? Okay. The last one needs to go back to the original image. Which is? This one. But I, wanna, I, I don't want that one to be the original image. I want the original image to be where he's like that. All right, so that's the original image. Mm -hmm. But, so we have to Wait. change it. So, he's starting from there. So we don't need that, because he starts from there. Yeah. Then he raises his hand, and he throws, and he's back to the initial yeah. state. And we need to do that change to... We need to have him start as this. Yeah. Oh, these are very subtly different. They raise a bit their hands. Yeah, that's when he's walking. Yeah. All right, let's try it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's too slow. Let's go and change the animation. Yeah, way, way let's faster. See. We need way faster. Even faster. Maybe you need to animate then throw. It's backwards. Yeah, animate then throw. Slower. Something really fast. I don't know if it'll have the time. Too fast. Let's try it. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it looks Should he animate the rockets? Um, how would they animate though? Same way, we use the block and we tell no, it. No, but like. We can loop, we can tell it to animate. You can do an effect of a fire. Oh, yeah, where it's like flickering, the yeah. fire changes. Okay, we can do that. No, we don't want to duplicate it. We can just grab it. This is a fat. Uh, block. You have to do it after you create the projectile. Create the projectile. We set up the animation okay, so in the loop. Its starting one will be a bare bone. And 
and then it'll slowly go on fire. Wait, no, no, that's the image. You need to edit the animation. I know, but it starts like that. Okay. So the animations, the first one. All right, let's go back. I think we still need to set up. So we want to animate my sprite. And we want looping. And probably something faster. All right. Okay. So, do I make it look the same as this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Kind of. So that's like... uh, we don't have copy paste yet. So, you know what? We could copy paste maybe in. Oh, well, you just redraw it. Then it's like this. Yeah. I think that looks like All right, it. so that's our first image. Yeah. And then. And now we're. Uh, you know what you can do? You don't do plus. You do copy. Chunk. Oh, yeah. There you go. And then we have fire. And you know, I'm also going to turn on the animation here. All right. All right, you draw. Yeah, so we can see the preview of our animation at all times. I think we could just start out with orange. Okay. Orange is more fiery. Yeah, it's it's really an art to do this pixel thing. <laughs> yeah. And there's so much resource on internet. If you're looking for uh, tips about how to do great pixel art, there's a lot of really amazing artists who are sharing their tips. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, don't listen. We'll have to spend more time on YouTube watching these tutorials. <laughs> I'm almost done. Oops. Yeah, you can add a lot of images. This is fun. And this is going to be my final slide. All right. Definitely fire. Oh, all right. Yeah, let's see what it looks like. Perfect. You just need to speed it up. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> it still works. Yeah, it still works. Oh, it kind of looks like it's like pulsing a jet. Yeah. Yeah, so we're adding a little bit of effects, and this really helps kind of improving this basic game that we did. All right. And I think we're done with this. We've learned buttons. Although, okay, here's a cool piece, because this is about buttons. Uh, there are more options in the buttons, if you look at it. Yeah. There's, there's three options. Repeat, pressed, release. So pressed is down and up. Mm -hmm. Released. What well, press is just, you, put, you just pressed it down. Mm -hmm. And then if you hold on enough time, just like in video games, sometimes it starts repeating. Mm -hmm. And then releases when it goes up. So how about we also handle rele uh, repeat? On repeat, it mini guns and, it. It <laughs> mini guns it. So uh, let's do uh, let's maybe do a function and move all the code we need to reuse into this? function. Yeah, this whole thing should be a function. Create bone. Create bone. Perfect. Great name. And we're gonna move. All this code in the function. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this function away over here. All right. Now we have button A pressed, and we can call the function. So we can actually have both of them. So pressed is really the, f the first click. Do we want to duplicate this? Yeah. And yeah, keep it at A. And re repeat happens once the user has like. left the A. Once you left, once you leave A down for a long time, it's gonna start repeating. And what we want to do is in both, call create bone. But we want to have a different bone, and we want to have a different thing where the bones just could maybe spin and it go, and it just spawns a tons. See, now it's repeating. It is slow, though. Yeah. So when it's repeating, it goes super fast. Oh, we don't have... 
oh, we don't have blocks to. Uh, I'm pretty sure in JavaScript we can but we could change do, the speed of repeat. Um, we could make a different function. All right. And then, but it kind of has the same code. But then, and then, and then there's an on game update you call the function. So it spawns tons of them. <laughs> well, you can only spawn four at a time. What? The problem is repeat is too slow. You know what? Let's go to JavaScript. Okay. And where is repeat? Let's go at the end. So type controller. Wait. No, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me move out of the way here. Uh, there we go. And you create, you type dot. That's how you access the toolbox from controller. And let's see what we have here. Set repeat default. And Tail? it's a function, so you do a parenthesis. Which, which kind? Opening. Over oh, nine. there they are. <laughs> All right, and it tells you the delay before starting to repeat. So we're going to want to repeat very fast, like. Those are O's, not zeros. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Here, zero point. Oh, zero, wait, it's zero, in milliseconds. One. In milliseconds. Okay. So maybe 50. 50, yeah, please. And now we want to set the delay. So you do comma. And you want to set the delay. Comma is like to go to the next slot in blocks. Mm -hmm. And you want to say how many, um, how long between uh, repeating. So let's do something very short, like 10, which is going to, or 20. Can I do 9.99? Yeah. 999. <laughs> there we go. So interestingly, if you go back to blocks, what you're going to see is we call that a gray block. That means you've used some advanced JavaScript option, and you can't do that in blocks. So you're already beyond the, what you can do in blocks. And now if you... Oh, we have this limit on four. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put it to 10. So now it's shooting these things super fast. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a trail. Yeah, it's a trail. It's like snake. And they're just, <laughs> it's just like running away to one side. Oh, that's a cool effect. Whoa, when the fire's coming after me. Like it's kind of an illusion. It is. It's going away from you, but it looks like it's going away from you. Oh, that's cool. Looks like it's coming towards me. All right. I'm going to put some more fire on You know what? Let's see what it looks like on hardware, because I suspect <laughs> this, this might be a bit laggy. Okay. I'm going to go on to our hardware section. Choose hardware. Which hardware? Uh, it's going to be, if I find... The seems that the hardware have been borrowed. <laughs> oh no. I find one. What's the Oval Bot Extra on? It looks super cool. Oh yeah, there's a number of super cool boards. The um, Joy Bonnet, the Adafruit M4, Edge we're Badge. We're going to do the Pi Badge. Okay, the Pi Badge. The Pi Gamer. Yeah, the Pi Gamer. The Pi, bang Pi Gamer or Pi Badge? And you switch into my... Oh yeah. Wait for someone to download. Alright, we're going to see whether... Spamming all these. We have two Pi Gamer roots. We do? Yep. I, I'm just doing. Oh, I know, it's the same. Okay. <coughs> Switch to the view. All right, it's blinking. Let me move the camera a bit. Oh, yeah. Well, look at that. Is it lagging? No lag. It's super smooth. In fact, I can go in the menu. Oh, we if cannot the, see the menu. If you go in the menu, let's see if you can see the okay, menu. Okay, that's better. But like filming somebody playing on these arcaders is not very... Can you see the menu? It's really hard to film these things. All right, but in the menu, I can actually show some, uh, some stats. We're at 50 FPS. Woo, this is smooth as hell. Yeah! It's like Dragon Ball Z. It's 
like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> and there's a little uh, cloud. <laughs> and there's fire chasing him. Yeah, this looks pretty great on hardware. Yeah, it's fun to play. <laughs> And it's stuffed. Very useful game. Very useful game. <laughs> All right, so let's read about what we've learned. We've learned about JavaScript. JavaScript. You can do more things in JavaScript than sometimes in blocks. Um, you can always do more things. We can do tons of cool animations. And we can also repeat. Yeah. So this is a fun one. You can not only handle one click, but you can really button smash automatically using the repeat. Which we're seeing it's here. really fun. Yeah. And the fire looks like it's chasing you. Cool. And that's going to conclude this session on Arcade, and see you in a future episode.